Hello, Aquarius. Welcome to Blunt Saji Tarot. My name is Robin. And Aquarius, today is December 4th, 2023. And we're going to do a What You Need to Know Right Now style reading. Aquarius, let's see what you need to know right now. Let's talk about you. Let's see what's coming through. Let's see if it's silver lining, something great. Let's find out. We have co-create. Whoa, the bottom wants to pop out. Yin. Okay. Co-create could represent somebody wanting to work with you. It could also represent balancing the different parts of yourself. You know, it's being at peace with the past, the things that are out of your control, and balancing patient and wisdom. Or there's an energy of someone coming in that's going to balance you out, right? You guys balance each other, work well together. Let's talk about it and see what this energy is. Spirit guides, what does Aquarius need to know right now? And Aquarius, for those of you who are interested, I am open for personal readings if you want one. The link is in the description box below. And just be reminded, my readings are $30 Canadian, and I send them in three to five business days. We have the hanged man in reverse. That's what you need to know right now. We got the Knight of Wands. That's how it's going to affect you. And your advice or actions to take is justice in reverse. We're going to find out what that means. Bottom of the deck, there's your, yeah, there's someone definitely wanting to work with you here. You got someone who wants to collaborate. I do feel this is going to move quite quickly here because we have the hanged man in reverse and the Knight of Wands. What's this night, hey man in reverse energy here for Aquarius? Talk to us right now, baby. Talk to us. Judgment in reverse. Whoa. Four of wands in, whoa. Yeah, things are changing fast here. There's the hermit. There's a ten of swords. You might have had a very difficult transition or ending. You might have felt stuck. I feel for a lot of you, this is a job offer coming through or an opportunity career, uh, you know, maybe for your business. I feel like there was a, it could be love um, and it very well could be. Whatever it was, there was a very painful ending and transition. You could be dealing, yeah, there's there's stability coming back into your life here, Aquarius, after a little bit of a difficult time. Stormy skies are over, sunny skies are ahead. Bang, bang. Um, this person wants to work with you. So I, 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 what I feel for many is this is job. This is career. I feel you might have been very slow moving. Maybe you're looking for promotion, looking to get your business off the ground, looking for a new job. Um, I do feel there was some disharmony entered in uh, that's been in your life. And with this hermit, you've done a lot of thinking, a lot of pulling back, a lot of withdrawing, right? If it's love, uh, you had an ex, uh, could have been a very rocky ending and you guys did not end on good terms, which created some imbalances in your energy, but you've had the courage and the strength to overcome that, to look forward, to let go of negative thinking, worries, those types of energies. You were patient and your patience and diligence has paid off here, Aquarius, because you have a new opportunity coming through. Somebody wants to work with you. With this knight of wands now this is love this is physical attraction passion uh there's a lot of chemistry between you and this person and if this is for business this is just something that's very creative very exciting um it's following your dreams following your passion right maybe before you were you know just the clerk at walmart and you thought you know what i'm gonna start following my dreams here i i I, I want to, I don't want to be an artist. <laughs> and now you got an art gallery interested in your work, right? Um, something that you're passionate about, that you're excited about. But nine of wands, the high priestess, the lovers. Um, your intuition, knew, you knew this. Your intuition was there. So whatever this path was, whatever this tumultuous times are, you were definitely uh, the wounded warrior here. We already felt that with the ten of swords. You had a very difficult transition here, Aquarius. But you've had, but you're overcoming that. That's changing. Uh, there's your intuition. There's you staying grounded, staying balanced, taking the middle path, right? Not letting your emotions get the best of you. Uh, just allowing your intuition to guide you here. That's doing what's best for you. And again, if this is love, uh, boom, this is a very strong connection. You have real love coming into your life. Wish come true, dream fulfillment, but there's a start. That is the cards of Aquarius. So just doing what's best for you. There's judgment. There's strength. Again, being realistic, being honest. Um, I do feel this is going to be a very good partnership here, Aquarius. Um, you're going to like this person, this opportunity coming towards you. Let's talk about justice in reverse, though. Uh, that's for me as a reader. Justice in reverse is a harsh card. Um, it's it's taking responsibility for our past actions. It's realizing a choice we make or a decision we made didn't necessarily have the best consequences. And it's just seeing that and taking responsibility for that. Uh, now, it could be this. Well, let's see. What is the justice in reverse here for Aquarius? All right. We have the eight of swords. We have the Nine of Pentacles, the Hermit, Judgment, and the Three of Wands. What I heard was uh, you've just learned to rely on yourself. Usually, typically, when people get in that independent energy, someone in the past let them down. And there's a Knight of Cups. I feel you might feel, well, let me say this. It's an energy of relying on yourself and not relying on somebody else, whether that's for your happiness, your your money, your finances, Um it's just realizing that that comes from within. 
Um, it's letting go of the people who do you wrong. If they weren't there for you, set your healthy boundaries. If they screwed you over, that's a reflection of them. It's not a reflection of you. It's accepting people and situations as they are. It's letting go of that energy. You might have been, you might have really felt betrayed and, and felt like it was your fault or what did I miss? What did I do? What, like, how did this happen? And sometimes really Aquarius has nothing to do with you. <laughs> it's just that other person, right? Hermes tells us teachings of Hermetics as within, so without. When people act a certain way, it's a reflection of them. But I feel what it taught you was to become independent and really rely only on yourself. Um, it's realistic expectations with regards to other people. You're going to get what you want because there's a three of wands. So you didn't let that betrayal. You didn't let that disappointment stop you from progressing forward. Um, you're, you're taking action and going after what you want. This is manifestations coming through. There's that Knight of Cups. There could even be multiple offers here, opportunities coming towards you, multiple people who want your attention. Um, and if not, this is just an, uh, something that's passionate and emotionally fulfilling. If it's love, there's physical attraction, but there's an emotional connection. If this is business, you're very passionate about this, but it makes you feel good too. You like what you do. Um, you're following your passions. You're following your intuition here. I do feel it's creating some independence, um, but I feel like that was a very difficult lesson to learn. There's the four of pentacles. There's that king of wands. So a lot of king of wands and the knight of wands. So a lot of passion, a lot of natural born skills within yourself here, Aquarius. And it's just tapping into your strengths and allowing yourself to progress forward, letting go. You know, if you did depend on somebody and they let you down, you know, you learned your lesson um, and it just taught you more independence here. And it's and when you set those healthy boundaries and when you realize those things, you know, and you tell the universe, I want better than that. That's when you get better because the universe is going to reward that energy, that frequency you're sending out. Right. So Aquarius, that's what you need to know right now. There's a hot offer coming through. It's going to make you happy. You're going to like it. And um, it's overcoming, definitely overcoming some challenges from the past here um, that weren't quite fair. Um, but I feel like you've learned your lesson from that experience. And that's the important part. So let's grab some oracles. Let's see what they want to say. And then we'll get back to the tarot. Spirit of God, what does Aquarius need to surrender to? Uh, yeah, we <laughs> definitely felt that. Unhealthy relationships. So let go of relationships that don't serve you, including unavailable or toxic people. You deserve to be treasured by others and to be surrounded by positive people. Yes. All right, let's grab the Kipper. Let's see what they want to add to this reading. We have 33, murky thoughts. We have the court. Okay. And we have military. And on the bottom, we have occupation. I do feel for a lot of you, I mean, maybe some of you are in the military or some of you in the legal area here for work, but I do feel this has to do with work and just not relying on other energies. Um, there's your, the, where did these come from? What the hell? <laughs> I didn't even see these. Success and love, the main female in the house. So isn't that interesting how they separated it for some, so this is definitely going both ways. For some of you, you might've felt um, like it wasn't going to happen, or you might've had some negative thinking, worries, anxieties, right? Looking, at, looking in the mirror and just seeing how you can make a different choice to get a different result. Um, and I, I feel there was, um, definitely with that military and that the court, I mean, that could be the field that you work in, but I get the feeling it's just being really serious, taking responsibility, um, and expectations of yourself and others. For those of you where this is love, I do feel this is a person you're going to end up moving in with, living together, uh, marrying um, this is going to be the right person. You could be the feminine or they could be the feminine entering into your life, but this is your person. This is long-term potential here with success and love in the house. Um, you could be moving in with this person, um, in the future or in the near future. All right, Aquarius, let's grab your energy Oracle message. Spirit of God, energy Oracle message here for Aquarius. Whoa, goddess of the moon is in reverse. One moment, when one comes out of the deck, we're going to get the messages in the book. So let's get this for you. This card reveals blocked intuition or an inner disconnect or sense of living in the dark. You have a deep desire to know your purpose and truth, but they could have felt very distant. This is a message of dissatisfaction where your inner life is concerned. It's possible that extreme worry and discontent are the obstacles to the inner peace and wisdom that you seek. If so, you need to let go and renew your faith in yourself and your eternal spirit. Get out of your own way and release the fear that's blocking the truth of your blessed eternal nature. Your soul, your higher self, knows you best. So allow stillness into your life. Listen to the stirring of your own intuitive voice and trust what you receive. 
All right, you know what? I really do want to grab the Christ Consciousness cards. Let's see what Yesha has to say, and then we'll get your potential outcome here. What's the Christ Consciousness message here for Aquarius? Because I feel you've been through the ringer here. I think there was a huge disappointment. Spirit guys. Love thy neighbor being of service. That's the... <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is a little, you're, you're going through some, some shit here, Aquarius. Um, especially with this justice in reverse, you know, someone you relied on, someone you depended on, someone you were there for, and they didn't return the favor. This is still understanding and sending love their way. If they treated you that way, if they did that, there is something within them that's very unbalanced, very out of kilter. Um, and you want to send nothing but love and compassion. Because when you do that energy and you send love and compassion to your enemy, your frenemy, someone who betrayed you, they can't hurt you anymore. It just puts a protective bubble around you. But it also increases your frequency, right? When you come from that place of love. Um, and you just realize that the unhealthy relationships are a reflection of them. They need love, baby. They need support uh, to treat people that way. And it's just sending that energy out. All right. Well, Aquarius, let's get your potential outcome. No, when I say potential, <laughs> there's always free will, darling. You're going to make the decisions you're going to make here, Aquarius. And when I say, oh, come, where are you in a month? How you doing? How do things progress? What do we need to know? Where's Aquarius in a month? How they feeling? How they doing? How's life treating them? Talk to us. We have, whoa, Nelly, motherfucking empress in the house. Oh, we got the sun. Wow, you're doing amazing. You know, and there's judgment. Three major arcanas here, Aquarius. These are big changes, heavy energies, heavy hitters. This is going to have a big impact on your future here. All right, two more. What else do we need? The Hermit, another major arcana. The star is in reverse, though. Okay, there's the two. Of, okay. There's the four swords. Okay. So, first of all, when we go through those difficult times, those transitions, we have that growth. That puts us into the Empress, a.k.a. Ener Emperor energy. If you're a dude, you know, the Empress and the Emperor are bored. They're created. You're created through life's tribulations, for trials, for difficult times. You're very comfortable. Comfortable with yourself, comfortable in your life. She is the master manifester. She makes things happen. The sun and the judgment is a very spiritual energy, but it also represents being very happy, being realistic about you, about other people, um, embracing these changes. You know, this is a dark night of the soul energy. So I do feel you were through some shit here, Aquarius, but that is coming to an end. You are rising like Christ rose three days after. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, okay, well, you are. Um, you're happy. You built solid foundations within yourself. Whatever you went through taught you, definitely taught you some valuable lessons, but it made you stronger, wiser, and smarter for that. I feel you're doing a lot of thinking here. We have the four swords and we have the hermit with the star in reverse and the two of wands in reverse. There are fears, worries, anxieties that this isn't going to work out. You're afraid. Um, you could be afraid of taking the next step if this is love because you got burns and betrayed in the past. If this is business, you could be worried um, that it's not going to last long, that the money is going to be temporary or that you're going to have struggles again. And it's just an energy of planning. Um, you know, invest in the proper stocks or in the proper RRSP. I think in America, you guys got the 401k, wherever you are, you know, invest in your future, invest in assets. Um, just plan out for dark times. You know, the experts always say you should have six months, I believe, worth of wage. That way, if anything happens, you're protected. You don't have to worry. You can release that anxiety and fears and know that you're prepared for the tough times, right? Um, and I feel like you're just a little bit worried about the future. <laughs> um, so it's just an energy of preparing for that. And if it's love, you got to get over that anxiety, worries and fears and trust your intuition to guide you. If you see a red flag or a siren, don't ignore it. Um, but if you don't allow that to progress forward and trust the universe is guiding you. So I do feel worries and fears here about where this is going, where the future is. And in my opinion, you just got to plan for that, right? And I already gave certain examples, but however it applies, just plan. The four swords is an energy of pulling yourself back. But it's also the energy of knowing you have all the answers inside of you, right? He's contemplating, he's meditating. Ask your angel, ask your higher self, ask your source self, ask God, the creator, whatever you believe for support, for guidance. They're here to support you. That's what this glass pane represents. But it also wants you to know you have all the answers within yourself because there's your hidden gnosis. So silencing your minds when you get those worries, those anxieties, those fears, they're always going to come. You're a human. It's ridiculous to think they're not. But it's an energy of transmuting them. That's what alchemy is. That's what spiritual growth is. Letting and transmuting those negative feelings into something positive. Fear into courage. Resentment into love. And it's just letting go of that negativity and trusting in yourself, the foundations you've built within you and your future. Aquarius, that's what's up. That's what I got. That's what's going down. So <laughs> if you like your reading, if you like my style, I do ask that you like, comment, subscribe. It helps my channel to grow. 
Thank you, Aquarius. I truly wish, truly appreciate your support. Always do, always do. Let's close your reading off today with a yes or no question. Spirit so guys, what's the answer for Aquarius? Are you ready, baby? Yes, two of cups again. That's what I'm talking about. This is a great partnership for you. Congrats, Aquarius. I wish you the best of luck. Until next time.